Hi, I'm Courtney Joseph, and I will be taking you through the upper school today. When you first enter school, you will be greeted by Mr. Hughes and you'll also go through the lobby called the Heart of Hunt. In this area, you can find the Dean of Students, Grade Level Deans, and Upper School Heads so you can stop by and say hello. <laughs> this is our main academic building, so this is where you'll find the majority of your classrooms. Our classrooms for the Humanities and Global Studies departments are equipped with Harkness tables so we can have discussion-based lessons. For families that might be new to the whole Harkness discussion-based classroom, how would you describe it to them? The idea behind the method is that all of the students get to talk to each other. And rather than the teacher being the center of focus, it's actually, you try to avoid looking at the teacher when you're having a discussion. You look at your classmates. And the benefit of that is, not only do you get to see everyone's faces and communicate in a way that's not to the back of their head or them having to turn around and look at you, it's a little bit better of a form of communication. You find that there's a little bit more flow during discussions. And um, another added benefit I really like is that so much of what everyone is doing now is online. And so sometimes you miss cues on people's faces and to be able to study that in a classroom with other people and start to read their faces better, I think is a really important skill to have. Um, not only that, but the eye contact, being able to disagree respectfully and also um, being encouraged and inspired to come up with conclusions on your own. So you are having the discussion and the teacher is really there just help giving you a little bit of guidance here and there, but um, to empower the students to feel like they can come up with some really great ideas um, is part of the Harkness Method and it's, um, it's, it's great, it's awesome. Behind me is our state-of-the-art library. There's enough room in here for individual work, group work, classrooms, and the college counseling office. Our STEM classrooms are a bit more traditional with high-tech options that will amplify your learning experience. Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'll be taking you through the STEM section of our virtual tour. Hi, nice to meet you. We'll start you down the math wing, where you'll see our interactive classrooms, equipped with smart boards and places designed for innovative learning. Our science labs are about to receive a massive makeover with the building of our new STEM center. Hi everyone, my name is Jackie O'Gorman. I'm chair of the science department here at the Hunt School of Princeton. I'm excited today to actually talk to you a little bit about um, our new science center, which is underway. I wish I could bring the camera with me and, and show you the facility right now, but um, I can't because I need a hard hat. Back in March, this past March, um, John Brom and I, head of school, met with our um, science advisory committee. From that meeting, we learned more about the skills that we want our students to, to learn more deeply and to be more a part of in the sciences. And those skills include creativity and collaboration. The faculty in the science department had the opportunity to actually help with the design. I was really excited more or less about the natural light and the acoustics and access to electricity and access to gas, you know, and the glass walls and all of that, we decided that the spaces didn't need it to be open. The spaces needed to have flexible furniture. And we want to have these ongoing labs to be very visual to not only the students that are in class, but those that are, are walking by the rooms or on the outside of the room. Um, ultimately, our goal is to actually have student independent research that runs the course of a couple of years and have that research taking place you know, in our, in our own rooms. We also um, have our, a collaborative space between two labs, an interactive board for the students to use when they're collaborating with their peers and with their teachers. We believe um, in the department that these open spaces really help to facilitate student-to-student um, -student collaboration student to teacher interaction. I really believe that the space itself enhances the learning. And if you're in an environment that is clean and open and airy and visual, um, that does enhance the learning experience for our students. Two of my favorite classes at Hunt were programming one and two. You took the programming and you were able to apply it into creative projects where you could make something of your very own. 
For example, you had tic-tac-toe games, rock, paper, scissors, and many other really cool games and programs that you could show off to your friends. Programming 1 and 2 are designed to give you an introduction to programming, to computer science overall, to where programming fits in the world. It has the opportunity for students to take something that they're very comfortable with, like images and drawings, and to see what they can make it do, like create video games from a simple shape to a video game by the end of semester one in programming one. Have you ever seen students evolve their passion for computer science? outside of the classroom? All the time. I have so many students that have gone on to study it in college. One of the students who graduated in the class of 2019 just finished a Google internship last summer. Um, here at Hun, there's opportunities through clubs and competitions. We had a student last year who was named as a national finalist for a competition. So there's lots of ways that students are taking what they get excited about in a classroom and taking it beyond. I'm thinking of essentially making an app and it directs you to specific classrooms. I can pull up, say, like a digital map of the school, I can zoom in, I can look at all the different buildings in the different classrooms. What the augmented reality system will do is it will take them through the quarters of the school, like some sort of GPS or something like that. I know that for me, when I first started coming to Hunt, I got lost a lot. So that would be very useful for everybody. Lastly, I want to show you our robotics lab built in 2017 inside the new middle school building, which coincidentally is the next portion of our tour. This has been the STEM section. Please make sure to check out all the other sections of the virtual tour.